The project came about from the beginning as a result of a referral from another client. That's what brought Wakefield Contracting into the scene. And uh, that's the best of both worlds for both the client and myself. There's a feeling of trust that comes before we even start. I met with the client uh, on site uh, at the new property for a short period of time, about an hour and a half, and we managed to uh, just embed that feeling of trust between the two of us. I think we understood where we were doing, talk the same language, and of course that's the very beginning of a project is that trust, and it's very, very important because it, uh, it's what carries the project through to completion. Most people come up with a feeling about a project more than uh, you know, physical vision of, of what they want. And so that's, that's my job, is to take that feeling and put it into reality. Everything happens through communication. And luckily today, with modern technology, there were several different modes of communication. Uh, there was uh, obviously a cell phone, and uh, we used Skype. One of the fellows on, uh, on site uh, made movies uh, with his camera every day and uh, put them together once a week, and we sent those off to uh, the customer's iPhone. And it brought that project in real time to them on the other side of the world. They were able to comment about it and, uh, and definitely felt like they were part of what was going on even though they were many, many miles away. What's the most important thing for me is to listen to the client and what they have to say. It's important to put yourself in their shoes and try and understand where they're coming from and their vision of, of what, uh, what they want and then figure out a way to do that, communicate to that, them what, what I thought was going to be the case and see how they felt about it. Projects like this uh, for me are very personal. The client's uh, needs are very, very important and uh, our goal is to meet those needs. Rob DeGroo as a landscape architect uh, certainly fit very well for this project. His vision and mine were shared and we were able to put his team of tradesmen together. The thing about the stairs uh, that was that the view at the top was truly spectacular and the house itself was, was a fantastic house. But the stairs were not the prize. The prize was at the top of the hill, which was the view. And so the idea was actually to make the stairs blend in with the surrounding uh, landscape. And so we used natural material that had been blasted on site to, to do that. It had, to be, uh, it had to be a nice set of stairs. It was quite a long ways up and uh, it had to be comfortable and yet fit into the landscape. We actually had to start from the top and work our way back down. So it was necessary to build a road to the top of the hill and uh, we used power wheelbarrows and, uh, and then work our way back down, tying in each uh, landing and uh, into the rock itself. And it worked, uh, I think, very well. Well, I think, the, uh, I think the client's very happy. I mean, I, I'm particularly happy. Uh, it's uh, a privilege, actually, to, uh, to actually do a project like this and have the trust of the client. Uh, the goal was to match the beautiful home on one end of the property with a million-dollar view at the other end. And the stairway was the, was the link between the two of them. The client put it best uh, when he uh, described the stairs as the stairway to heaven connected that beautiful home and, and that wonderful view, and uh, I couldn't agree more. This was a fabulous project.